Hello everybody, this is Voice of Swords. My name is Yulia. Thank you for coming on to this channel. I'm gonna do a reading for Taurus. I've used the tarot deck that I've designed. It's a Hindu, um, Hindu gods tarot deck that is based on vintage prints um, of um, Hindu mythology. And we've got the three of wands at the bottom of the deck, the wish come true card, the nine of hearts. We've got the seven of wands and the sun, the happiest card in the deck. So it's a funny way, the way your wish is coming true. It's like a reverse. So something didn't work out. Something uh, where you were uh, perhaps felt wounded or rejected um, actually was working out to your own benefit because we see in the sun that means you have reached enlightenment there is an understanding that has been growth for you um, the wish whatever you wished whatever that might be a business or a partnership etc um, it just came through on the flip side of the circumstances were that were not beneficial if you catch what i'm trying to say catch my drift here so perhaps a person, I could even say a feminine because we've got the uh, Queen of Wands reverse, the Three of Wands, the Tower, which is definitely um, when things are falling apart. Um, and the Nine um, of um, Swords here. So definitely this situation with this person, potentially a, a female, has been a lesson well learned you were wanting something to happen maybe you were uh, in business with this person maybe you were in partnership with this person your heart desired something but this person has maybe tricked you because they're not in their authentic energy they're in their shadow so they're potentially you moving away from this person you're moving somewhere else or there is a slight possibility that you have reconciled and made it work but because of the tower unfortunately i would say you have to make a move you have to go someplace else to make things different to start from the beginning because the tower has you know the whatever foundation you have built was not built steadily um stable and you know something that keeps your our mind circling into the situation which is painful you know to the point where you know it's hard to sleep but perhaps and um but it's a nine so the tower is already here and we're all in the first row of clarifying what's going on and we're seeing the sun so soon you're gonna reach your you know your happiest your happiest place your happiest place. your wish will come true but it's just the way it's coming, the way you're learning this lesson, is through a deceit, the, um, a delay, a somebody's trick. So, decision has to be made for the ten of swords to be completed for you to come to a place where you you know you've completed this cycle of pain and this mental struggle because you're looking for a solution. You're looking to make a decision to figure out what am I gonna do? I'm gonna start continue here. Am I gonna start things somewhere else? Could be financial. Although this is the only card um, suggesting that. Uh, I would like to tell you to please subscribe to the channel. You can buy the tarot deck. The tarot deck includes the, um, shipping worldwide. Um, you can also find uh, beautiful Icelandic jewelry here. I make sustainable clothes. You can do a private reading with me. So there's many different products you can look at. You can uh, check uh, on the website, which is voiceofstars.com, which you will find in the description box below. And subscribe to help me grow this. Subscribe to the channel so that I can reach more and help more people during these readings. Let's have a look. What's in the now? What's in the immediate future? So we already know that this is what happened. You're on the you're looking out ahead of you and thinking what which, which path should I take? What is it that I should do?
Nine of Pentacles. So you're becoming independent. Ten of Pentacles reverse. You're not going into. You don't want to be in the commitment of this person. Or if you were considering to being in a business partnership, um, you definitely don't want to do that. And that's the wish come true. You definitely now are realizing that you actually your wish come true, the nine of hearts, is to say, you know, to walk away from this, to be rejected by this person. And this is where you find your happiness. This is where you overcome the struggle, the mental struggle. Um, and yeah, potentially you might have to build things anew from scratch. Six of Pentacles, yeah, so you're gonna, you might meet even somebody else, a different person, who will be a lot more, they might not be the queen, but there might be more uh, harmonious connection, more balanced connection. They're not yet like a queen of Pentacles, they're in a nine of Pentacles, potentially they could be there to help you out, but you don't know. And you still, because the moon is falling right under the tower, I would then, I would say that also, there's not everything that you know about this situation that transpired. This could, you know, this could mean so many different things. There could be aspects of it, like documentation, and things you need to be taken care of, that need to be taken care of, that are still in the process, and you are not, there. you know, you might have ideas about it, but potentially it could be an illusion, so. Or this connection that you think you have or somebody who is there for, you know, for time being with you, it's, um, you don't know where it's going and yeah, it's not really, it's more like a fantasy. Maybe it's a way to escape this situation that happened because I don't think it was pleasant. I saw the Queen of Pentacles reversed. So, um, yeah. The, the fact of the matter is this this is that this is the extra cards that you find sometimes in the in the um I'm gonna leave this that you're gonna find in the um right away. But for me this is a card of solitude, you know, like you are left out. It's almost like the five of pentacles card, but this cold, this wintry. So there's some illusions about the fact that there's you still might find a way, but in fact of the matter is, I think you're gonna have to go the hard way. It's gonna be tough. You might you you're gonna be alone for some time. It's gonna feel like it's cold in this world, you know. But you need to remember that you can create anything that you like, and and you know, in the world is your voice. So you just have to. Get into position to where you are a lot more frugal. Hold on to your pennies, and step by step rebuild something anew. As I already said, with the nine of uh, cups reverse, it just I'm just really like I said already, with whoever might be there for now with you to maybe make it a little warm, feel like the world is a warmer place, or a way to escape the reality of the situation, which is. Quite difficult I think it's like life-changing could be uh, changing locations and changing business like yeah I think it's quite none of the cars are very heavy like too heavy but I think it's because it's already happened so the Knight of Cups reverse is meaning you're not really open up to like uh, ready to open up emotionally to to devote some to someone or you know start feeling things towards someone else Because the lovers, there is a choice that needs to be made. You're aware there is a choice to be made. So potentially, you could open up. You're realizing that I could go the distance with this person. I have to make a choice. But more importantly, because it's falling under the three of ones and the six of pentacles here, I'd say it's the choice between anything, locations, companies people I already mentioned but I think because of the three of ones it's about whether even going to work for someone for maybe six months or something like that but it is about the three of ones meaning it's about the journey that's ahead and there's at least two paths 
if not three, for you to choose from. And even though you might be thinking about reconciling with this person at some point or with somebody else in your mind, I think the priorities are about you taking care of the situation, you know? You are definitely now an independent person yourself. There's enough balance, stability, like basic stuff, around, you know, that you have. But not all information is out there about what actually happened. I think there's going to be like repercussions of this. And you still will feel like, you know, alone. This feeling of being alone, of how the world sometimes I guess, which is not the case. There's obviously something that you need to look at. There'll be an offer. And the Ace of Swords. We're saying the Ace of Swords. Um, <laughs> for me, it's also the lovers, another lovers card, but in reverse. Interesting. So there will be an offer made maybe from the same Queen of Wands. I, I would still think you might, you might choose to be independent from this because maybe you've tried to work this out because it's tough. It, 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 it was tough, it, is, it might be still tough, but somehow there might be feelings that coming, there is an offer from someone of love, and sooner or, may, sooner or later you're gonna be making a choice about this person, whether this is a new person. Let's have a look. We got a seven of pentacles here at the bottom. Let's clarify the lovers. The lover's card here. Yeah, your heart is closed. You see, we got two of swords um, upright. So you're closed off. You're just not prepared mentally for something new. I would say that's why, in the end, it's going. You're not gonna. You're not gonna go for this opportunity in love with somebody who might be, uh, maybe not a queen, you know, but very genuine and gentle person. I feel it's an, an other energy here. have a look what is this lovers reverse that's gonna be okay so it might be a delayed choice i see now so you have to communicate with this person and him in reverse you're gonna get you pretty much are uh, aware and enlightened how it could be beneficial for you and that uh this person might be there to support you to help you out and for the time being to recover to take time to heal all those things you know people are given to us they're like messengers so yeah there'll be a lot of conversation potentially an overseas conversation um if you have to leave it so maybe at the moment you choose to be alone and you will leave and you'll be away but be communicating maybe still with the queen of wands if it could possibly be the case but you're not gonna be in a relationship or committed relationship with them. Uh, you will not be ready to make a choice. And you will, it will just be a time for you guys to understand who stands where and how this might work or not for both of you. So through long distance communication, I wanna say, uh, you will, you can, you, you, I think you can find a way because they, technically they suck up to say here and the fact that the hangman the hangman is really good omen for me because there's someone who meditates someone who takes time to to work things through for once there is a possibility for you to turn things around with this person so if there was somebody I'm gonna reiterate that who rejected you First, they came out to you and they wanted to be with you, seduce you and, you know, and show you love. And you, you really, maybe there were a wish come true for you. Maybe you know that they can make you happy. But they were not in their power 
and power itself. They maybe came from a shadow at some point, and that was really devastating and hurtful for you. Um, you've been single, you realize you have to make a choice, but you're kind of a bit closed off to this person at the moment. But through communication and through enlightenment that you will have, an understanding, a deeper understanding and growth, you will come to the sun, to the happiest card of the deck. And it is this communication that can be a game changer here. So this is interesting. We started off pretty, not grim, but like, I can see how the energies change further down the line. And there is, I feel this last row a lot more emotional and loving and There is a great potential here, I would say. I'm going to leave it here for you, Taurus. Thank you very much again for being here. Please do subscribe to the channel because this is how you show me that you support what I do and appreciate the information that I share with you. I hope this is helpful. And um, check out my website. Check out the cards. They're super beautiful. The Hindu Tower deck is it's self-printed. So uh, there's you know, a limited amount of them. And they're based on this beautiful vintage prints that I've rescued and um, designed the tarot deck myself. And like I said, there's jewelry, there's sustainable clothing and all products that are in connection with nature so that we become more in tune with the nature that surrounds us and become healthier in our lifestyles so that we live it more in union and so that it becomes more beneficial for everybody in the nature at large we are nature in fact so thank you very much for being here once again i wish you all the best bye bye i hope i pushed the recording that would suck